All right. So the idea that I had for these bases, uh, make sure I want to give a shout out to Mediocre Hobbies. Uh, it's really his process at the core, but I've adapted it to be able to do large batches all at once. And then at the end, I'm going to take things a little bit further and add some additional steps uh, that I'm going to share with you all. Uh, just because it's so quick and easy to do these, that those couple of extra steps will just help make everything pop so much more. Uh, since these bases, especially for the infantry, are going to be absolutely critical to make sure that your games and your armies look fantastic. So let me talk about the prep uh, in order to get started with painting these. So I went ahead and magnetized all of the bases just with a little uh, rare earth magnet and a little hot glue. And now I've got a metal sheet that these are attached to with a strip of parchment paper covering it just so that uh, after you know, we paint these, they'll be very easy to, to separate. So with uh, this one metal sheet, which I believe was like 8 by 12, yeah, an 8 by 12 sheet, I was able to fit two infantry boxes worth of bases onto this one sheet. Uh, so if you are only working on the core set right now, this will be all of your bases. Uh, or if you're working on a larger army and you bought some extra infantry boxes, you may need a couple of these. Now, if you don't already have 8 by you know, 12 sheets of galvanized steel, uh, you can use like a cake pan, uh, just something magnetic. Or if you didn't want to go the magnet route, you could honestly just use blue tack. But with the number of bases, you would be using a lot of blue tack. So now that I've got everything staged, I'm going to go ahead and take these away and prime them. And I'll be right back. All right. So first up, we're going to use brown gray from scale 75. And we're going to stipple this over roughly 75% of the base. And we want this coat to be somewhat patchy so that we have some of that uh, black prime showing through underneath. And coming in now with scale 75 graphite, we're going to repeat the previous step in this color, but we're going to cover slightly less area. And we want to be as random as possible. And for our last stippling step, we're coming in with Arctic Blue from Scale 75. Uh, we're going to cover a little bit less area than the previous steps. But you want to make sure that you hit any edges of your uh, roads that are on the bases. And lastly, I'm coming in with some pure grime from the AK Deep Shades range. And I've thinned this out with a little bit of satin varnish. And we're just going to apply a very thin filter layer over top of the bases to dirty them up just a little bit. All right, guys, so all of the acrylics are done, and this is where I'm going to deviate from the mediocre hobbies formula. Uh, so now we're going to work with a little bit of enamel paint. So I've already pre-wet the surface of the bases with a little bit of mineral spirits. And so now what we're going to do, on some of the bases, they have little manholes and sort of like downed aquila sort of statues and we're going to hit those with this uh ammo streaking brusher rust so just give that a good shake and unscrew the cap and it has a nice applicator brush just want to wipe some of that excess paint off so that it doesn't uh flood all over the place and you're literally just going to touch this to the manhole covers and I'm going to rust out the aquilas as well. And when that dries, a lot of that liquid will evaporate. And it'll leave that rust pigment down in the recesses.
Right, and next, for the larger panel lines that are on the bases, we're going to drop in some Tamiya black panel line into those recesses and just darken them down a little bit further. And all you have to do is just touch the applicator brush to the recess and the capillary action will carry the paint all along the channel. And so now the superficial cracks, I'm not really hitting any of those. So I'll carry on doing all of these and then we'll get them cleaned up. All right. So we went ahead, we pan aligned all of those recesses on the base. And now that we've done all of them, the ones at the beginning are dry enough to start removing the excess paint. Uh, so I've got a makeup applicator that I just dipped into some mineral spirits, getting off the excess. And then all you have to do is just wipe this across the surface gently. And it'll pick up the enamel paint from the surface, but it won't affect what's down in the recesses. Now, when you're doing this, you do want to avoid the, the rust areas that we did. Um, some of those recesses aren't deep enough to avoid uh, picking up the pigment out of the recess. So just let that sit, leave that area alone, but these panel line areas are perfectly fine. And you may find you might need to rub a little bit, but with the makeup sponge, that's not a problem. You can rub as much as you need. Just don't push down too hard or you'll risk the uh, foam of the applicator going down into the crevice and picking up that pigment. And it also helps if you run the sponge perpendicular to the line along the surface. But I will carry on doing this and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. All right, so here are the bases with that last step all done. So they've been cleaned and now since we've used enamels, I'm going to let this group of bases dry overnight and then hit them with a matte varnish. And at that point, all you would have to do is paint the base rims. But I have another tray of these uh, that are ready to be rimmed. Uh, so let me show you those. All right. So here's the uh, tray of bases that I've already, you know, let the enamels dry and then matte varnish them. And I'm actually pretty thrilled with how these turned out. Um, I've never really tried to do sort of like a distressed stonework uh, sort of base before. And um, I really, really struggled with, you know, picking the right colors and, you know, figuring out the process. But I'm pretty happy with, you know, the final result and uh, how well they turned out. So uh, hopefully this video helped you, um, you know, think about some things to help you get your bases uh, out of the way as quickly as possible, but still have them looking nice. If you have any questions or comments, I know a lot of miniature war gamers aren't really used to using the uh, enamel products. Uh, drop a comment below and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Um, I do want to throw out another reminder. Uh, we are really, really close to hitting that thousand subscriber goal. And once we cross that threshold, I'll be giving away a 40k Lionel Johnson uh, kit, brand new in box. And uh, we'll do that giveaway video um, as soon as we hit that threshold. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And I'll see you all in the next video.